Morning Kids. We are so excited to spend time with you this morning. That's right. Together we get to learn about Jesus, sing about Jesus, and talk to Jesus. How cool is that? We're going to start with singing some worship songs. So everyone stand up out of your chair and let's sing together. Sing really loud and do the motions with us.
and Elise, whoa, great job singing everyone. Yes, you sounded so good. Now we're gonna learn our Bible story for today. Ashley, where's our Bible story from? Well, it's from Luke chapter two, just like last week. That's right. Last week we learned about the story of Jesus's birth in Luke chapter two. This week we get to learn another story that's also from Luke chapter two. What story? Let's find out. Mary and Joseph's baby, God's own son, was a few days old when Mary and Joseph named him Jesus, just like the angel had told them to do. When Jesus was a few weeks old, Mary and Joseph took Jesus to the temple in Jerusalem. Mary and Joseph wanted to obey God and his law. The law that God gave Moses said, when a woman's first son is born, his parents must dedicate him to the Lord. The law also said, that the child's parents should give a sacrifice. At the temple, Mary and Joseph presented Jesus to the Lord and offered two birds as a sacrifice. Another man was at the temple. His name was Simeon. Simeon loved God, and he trusted in God's promise to send a Messiah to save people from sin. God's spirit was with Simeon, and God had told Simeon that he would not die until he saw the one who would rescue people from their sin. That day, God's spirit had led Simeon to the temple. Simeon saw Jesus and picked him up in his arms. God's spirit showed Simeon that Jesus was the promised Messiah. Simeon was so happy. He praised God and said, Lord, you can let me die now. You kept your promise and I have seen the one who will save people from sin. Simeon said that Jesus would save God's people, the Israelites, and Jesus would also save people from other nations. Mary and Joseph were amazed at what Simeon said. Simeon blessed Mary and Joseph. He told Mary that being Jesus' mother would be a very good thing, but it would also be very hard. Some people would love Jesus, but others would hate him. Things were going to happen that would make Mary very sad. A woman named Anna was at the temple too. Anna's husband had died and Anna was very old. She stayed at the temple and worshiped God all the time. Anna came up to Simeon, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, and she began to thank God. Anna talked about Jesus to people who were waiting for God to keep his promise to send a savior. She told them the good news. The Savior was here. <laughs> Mary and Joseph finished dedicating Jesus and making sacrifices to God. They obeyed God's law. Then they went back home to Nazareth. Jesus grew up and was strong and healthy. He was wise and God was happy with him. Throughout the Old Testament, God promised the arrival of a king who would redeem people. When Jesus arrived, Simeon and Anna knew he was the promised Messiah. Today, we have faith that Jesus is God's son. We can trust Jesus for our salvation, and like Simeon and Anna, we should share the good news. Wow, that was a great story. In this week's story, Jesus' parents brought him to the temple where they met Simeon and Anna. When Simeon and Anna saw Jesus, they worshiped him because they knew he was God's son. That's our story point for this week. Simeon and Anna worshiped Jesus. Now, if you remember our big picture question from the last few weeks, this is what it is. Is Jesus God or a human? Now here's the answer. Jesus is both fully God and fully human. And that's why Simeon and Anna worship Jesus. Now I'm gonna invite my friends, Annalise and Ashley to practice our memory verse. Bye kids. Hi everyone. Hey, does anyone remember our memory verse from last week? I'm gonna say it two times. The first time you can just listen and the second time you can say it with me. Ready? John 1, 1. In the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and the Word was God. Now let's say it together, Ashley. Sure. John, John 1, 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Now, 
Before we go, let's talk to Jesus. Hey, Mackenzie, come and join us. All right, everybody, let's pray together. Fold your hands like this. Thank you, Jesus, for today. Thank you that we get to worship you and to learn about you. And I pray that you would teach us how to love everybody so well. Thank you for all of these blessings. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us, New City Kids. In a second, we're going to have some discussion questions on the screen for you to talk about with your family. Have a great morning, and remember, Jesus, Jesus loves you, and so, so do we. we. Woo!